He's also the Emmy-nominated creator, writer, director, and star of the critically acclaimed FX show, Louie. He just released his new special, Louis C.K., live at the Beacon Theater, available exclusively on his website. Please welcome Louis C.K. <laughs> Sure, I appreciate it, Thanks my for having me. It's our holiday week. It's great. Do you have any plans for the holidays? Any big things? Well, I got kids, so it's just awful, you know. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's, it's not enjoyable at no, all. No, it's a nightmare. Is it really? It's just shopping, and then they go, oh, thanks, you know, and it's just... <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot of work. And, uh, and then New Year's, I got my kids for New Year's Eve, and I told them they could stay up till midnight. Uh, but, you know, I'll turn the clocks back and <laughs> put them to bed at 8 and go get some <laughs> That's my no, plan. <laughs> You asked me what I was going to do for the yeah, holiday. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're going to do. There, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to be that specific. Yeah, I'm but, sorry. Uh, no problem. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to uh, have a nice time. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. I'm going to enjoy yeah. myself. <laughs> it's the holidays. <laughs> we can edit it out. Instead of saying what you said, we just put nice time. Nice time. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to go out and get some nice time. Yes. Uh, you couldn't be it's hotter. Well, what a year you've had. It's been a crazy time. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah. Look at this. Cover Entertainment Weekly. Look at this. Yeah, that's weird. That's you. That's, uh, that's great, man. That's awesome. I mean, it, it, was, it was killer. You were all over the place. Well, now yeah. Well, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's a weird time because I'm not accustomed to it. You know, I've, had, I've been doing this for 27 years, and a good 23 of them were terrible. So, <laughs> and, I, I, you know, it's not like the, I'm going to have 27 good ones now, let alone 28. So it's, oh, the, the, the good times will always be far outweighed by the terrible. Uh, and, and it'll end badly, too. <laughs> what are you uh, talking about? It will. Like, of course you're not being positive. Why? No, because well, I, whenever you see a guy, wow, he was really great, and then you look at him and he's older, and you're like, oh, nice time. I mean, that's where it's all headed, and that's okay. <laughs> no, it's good though. It's okay <laughs> because I'm good for all of it. I'm, I'm I like witnessing life, you know. So yeah, uh, good and bad. I'm like, wow, I got to see that, you know. It's like a train wreck. You can't look away, but imagine be, getting to be in a train wreck. You know, it's kind of <laughs> I get excited by that. Yeah, because you can actually say I was in a train. I wreck. I was in that train wreck, man. <laughs> and people are like, wow and they yeah. buy you drinks and stuff. But, so. this is, but now you got invited to do stand-up for the Congress? or Yeah, the, the uh, Correspondents' Dinner in Washington. This is huge. It, that's really huge. And the thing is, though, I don't remember agreeing to do, to do it. Uh, <laughs> I really don't, because I don't want to do it. And no. they, I, I read about it in the news. It said that I'm going to be hosting the course, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, the yeah, Congressional court. And I'm like, I don't want, why would I do that? And I called my agent, and he's like, no, you totally, and I believe him, he doesn't lie to me. So I guess someone asked me, and I said, yes, but it's a nightmare. I don't own a tuxedo, and I curse all the time. I don't know, I need to know I can say anything I want. And, yeah. and I'm going to be in front of congressmen and senators and the, the president. The president usually goes to these yeah. things. And I'm gonna, it's a nightmare. It's like, it's like a nightmare, literally like a bad dream I've had before. Yeah, this could be the end. <laughs> this might be the end. <laughs> this could be it right here. The train wreck is coming. That's yeah, the bad this, end I'm talking about. This is about. exciting. Yes. Uh, but hey, you know, go through it, see what I'm it's sure like. you'll be great, gosh. Uh, this comedy special you just did, Live at the Beacon? Yes. Was phenomenal. It was Thank great. You. Thank you. Uh, I loved it. It was, uh, I, I loved, I was telling you backstage, I, I, you, just, you kind of just walked off the street into uh, the Beacon Theater and then went right on stage and just started, started doing stand-up. Started the show, yeah. There yeah. was no opening act. No, I just the walked The lights out. weren't even out. No. Yeah. You just walked up, people were just like, you know, sitting down there. Well, they were asking me, like, there's all this, you know, like, drama to, like, when are we going to start the show and the lights will fade and people will applaud. And, yeah. and I was watching them all standing around getting their drinks and stuff, and I just said, I just I want to get out of here, so I just walked out on stage. <laughs> <laughs> just people weren't show. even all sat down yeah, at the time. Like yeah. everyone, just sit down. We'll start right now. Yeah. And everyone's like, uh, "What? What's yeah. going on?" Like, no yeah. opening. Could just turn the lights just out. Let's, let's get going. Let's go. Exactly. It was great. Thank and you. And you start. Have you ever started your show like that? Or was it the first uh, time? I, I, a couple of times, like in nice time towns. I didn't want to be in. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to stop using these words. But no, anyway, right. uh, we just replace all of those words yeah. with nice time. <laughs> yeah, nice time. <laughs> You'll watch it tonight. All you're yeah. saying is nice, nice time. time, nice time, nice time, nice time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just felt nice time to just start the show. But you yeah. did this cool thing with the with the mm -hmm. internet, which I uh, which I I've never seen. You just mm -hmm. said like, hey, I'm just gonna uh, everyone who wants to see the show. Yeah. You give five bucks. 
It's five bucks. And, and you could just and say, you didn't go through a network, you didn't go through pay per view. Yeah, no, I mean, I, had, I, I paid to do it, like, I paid for the special. Yeah. And so. Out of uh, your own money. Out of my own money. So I had it. And I thought I could just give it to people for a little bit of money. And then, because it, it, usually they cost like 20 bucks because there's like thousands of people in a if company. You're lucky, 20 bucks. So usually like yeah. 40 bucks. It can be a lot of money. Yeah. But, but I thought, how much do I need? Well, if, I, if I, everybody gives me five bucks, that's, that's, to me, that's a lot of money. You'll break even, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I'll break even. But so <laughs> I put it on the internet for five bucks and I made it really easy to buy. Like, you don't have to join anything. Like, we designed the website so it's just nothing. Nothing. You just iTunes click five bucks. There's no iTunes. There's no joining. We don't keep your email unless you really want us to. Uh, like you really have to ask us. It's not this thing where it's already says <laughs> it's yes. Going, you're getting spammed already. Oh, yeah, I know those says, things. Yeah, it already would says. You like would you, you like? Yes, you would. Wouldn't you? Come yeah, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, Why do I want a newsletter yeah. from anything? I don't want. I don't want to hear from anybody ever. I'm trying to get away from everybody. That's how everybody feels. <laughs> exactly. Did you break even? Yeah. Well, I asked. Somebody told me everyone's going to steal it and they're going to pirate it. and You're not going to make any money. Yeah. So I just wrote a note that said, "Please don't do that." <laughs> That's all I did. I all said, right, so I, "I get that you do it. Just don't." <laughs> and, uh, and I'll be really excited if you don't do it. And they didn't. And so it, uh, it made a lot of money. I, I, uh, yesterday we hit a million bucks. So and that was in a year. Million dollars. Yeah, a million dollars. Oh my God. That was, uh, Congratulations. That was ten days on sale. And when I got that, because it was in my, it just goes in my phone. It's a really weird thing. Like I just once in a while, bling, and I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> and this is like, bling, 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 oh and it's so much money. And then I was like, that's, that's too much money. Because I, I don't ever had a million dollars all at once. I never had that in my life. Sure. You know? I grew up pretty poor, and I ne certainly never, I had like a million dollars, and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, that's not even my money. Like, this is just a, a $5 impulse that 220,000 people had. And now I have it. And I felt uncomfortable about having that much money. So um, I kind of broke it in four pieces. Two, 250 went back to pay for the special. Like, I replenished that. At my company. Okay. Another 250 went to people that work for me that work really hard. I gave them all bonuses. Uh, and then I and then I took another 280 thousand and donated it to a bunch of charities, That's really um, nice. which was. Uh, uh, well, they were. I start. I was gonna give like a hundred thousand away, but it's like blackjack, and it's just my phone again. It's the same thing. I just started dishing it out. It's not real um, numbers. Yeah. One of them is called Fistula Foundation. It's a place these women get raped, and then I give them money. And then it's <laughs> that's, just, that's not the way it actually works. It's not what it says. I just want to get through all these. It's women that are really in a bad place. Okay, and, that's better. So yeah, I yeah. gave them about 40,000 bucks. And then there's a place called Green Chimneys, which is in Harlem and in upstate. Okay. Uh, where kids that just hit nobody likes them and they go to this place. And, uh, and, they, and they work with animals. There's kids and animals. <laughs> it's true. There's kids that just have no, they've lucked out of a lot of other options. And now they go to this place, they get to live there, and there's llamas and, uh, and owls. <laughs> So I gave them uh, 125,000 bucks. Neverland Ranch? That's right. And then, <laughs> then there's a place called Charity Water, and they build uh, water things where people are thirsty. And uh, so we gave them 70,000 bucks. And then Pab Love, which is for kids with cancer, and then a place with, called Kiva, uh, K-I-V-A, and they give loans to people uh, that need money. That so it's super yeah. nice. Well, then, that, what yeah. are you going to do with the, uh, uh, that's very good. <laughs> That's very, nice of you. Yeah. That's, that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, what are you, uh, what are you gonna do with the, the, the is there is money left there? Is 220? 220K, that's all going right here. <laughs> that's all going. I'm getting a new one put in. What? I'm getting a new one. <laughs> I'm leaving the old one. I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have an old Wait, one next to each other? and a new one. Yeah, that's right pretty there. interesting, yeah. It's gonna be nice. So you know, yeah, that's it's gonna, gonna be, be nice. That's something to look forward I'm to. I'm excited, uh, yeah. Well, congratulations on Thanks, uh, everything. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. You guys, uh, Louis C.K. live at the Beacon Theater is available. Let's go.